large, medium, and small screens. They're everywhere you look. How often do teens and kids use them and when? What do you think on the weekend? Um, Maybe a couple hours, one two one hours one a day? An hour 30. Yeah, it's usually like a distraction, like if I'm at a restaurant or if I need to do something quickly to get ready for work. But what happens when screen time cuts into physical activity or sleep? Dr. Jenny Radeski is a member of the American Academy of Pediatrics and the author of the 2016 Media Use Guidelines for Children. We've really tried to answer the question in a way that will help parents know how to create some balance. The council created an interactive website. Parents can build their family's personalized media plan. You can plug in who your children are, what ages they are, and then you get a few choices of what are the different um, kind of healthy or balanced technology use behaviors that would be appropriate for that age. Rodeski recommends families try one or two things that would work. For some families it might be let's pick a few unplugged spaces in our house or a time of day that might be dinner time. Dr. Rodeski also says parents should explain their media use out loud. For example, say I'm texting dad to tell him where we should meet. It demonstrates positive smartphone use. They, they want to know these things. They want to feel in control. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.